Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome to my Empire Total War Darth Mod Sweden campaign. The objective of today's video is to form the Kelmar Union and unite the Nordic countries under a Swedish banner. The challenge as well is to win the Great Northern War against Russia and take the city of Moscow. Let's get stuck into today's campaign. Okay guys, welcome, welcome to the campaign map. Let's get stuck right into it. So we start off with Stockholm in Sweden and we've also got Finland as well. We want to try and rush the Danes as quickly as possible and we might go to war against Russia early. We don't have Zinn at St. Petersburg, so... Um, we're playing a late campaign, that's why. So Gustav uh, III is currently our king, and we have a daughter as an heir as well. So we're playing on a late Darth Mod campaign. Uh, let's have a look at our diplomacy. So we're currently trading with the United States and Great Britain. Okay, so two territories. We're actually probably on par with... Um, Denmark power wise. So we've got two full stacks, one pushing to Norway, the second pushing towards uh, Copenhagen in Denmark. So we'll try and get stuck into them and we'll be able to unite um, most of the Nordic countries. We, we will need to take Iceland at some point. But we do have a fort here on the border with the Ruskies, but uh, that's going to be the biggest challenge of the series. Okay, war declared. Spain, Britain, and Poland, Lithuania. Alright, it's got some early wars erupting as well. Okay, we have an alliance with the United Provinces and the States for now. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. 1783, we have an army ready to push into Copenhagen, and we have a secondary one ready to push Norway. I want to try and hit them and hit them hard as quickly as possible, and sort of be unrelenting and blitzkrieg them. Now, the problem is, Denmark are at war, sorry, they have actually allied up with Russia <laughs> and Poland, Lithuania, so we'll see how we go. We've got an alliance with them as well, Poland, Lithuania now. So the trade agreement's been cancelled, Poland and Lithuania stopped, but we're now at war with the Russians. Oh, that's just what we don't want. They knew, oh well. Um, so we're not favoured to win this one in Copenhagen, so we'll have to play this one. We'll send the secondary army to Norway, and that's another unfavoured battle. So two crucial battles first up. We need to win it as well. Over in the border here at St. Petersburg, um, we'll just keep an army there for now. But yeah, we, we actually had St. Petersburg. At one point. Oh, Zenit St. Petersburg is the football team. My bad. I don't know why I said Zenit. But anyway. Okay, guys. Welcome, welcome to the battle map. Let's get stuck into the first Danish and Swedish war. So we have four units of line infantry, two artillery, and two horsemen. So that's slowly but surely push up and try and close the distance so we can bring Copenhagen into the Nordic fold. We want to try and neutralize those cannons. Now, I know you can in vanilla, you can actually form the Kelmar Union and in Medieval 2 in the Teutonic DLC, but I can't remember if you can specifically do it in Darth Mod, like get a re-color and sort of calibration of the, the banners and stuff, but if we can't do that, we'll still take the historical, what is considered the Kelmar Union in this series. Alright, let's move up. So, the Swedish cavalry is going to charge the entrenched mortars. Bring down the Danes! Isn't there, there's some, isn't there that crazy law that if a Swede catches a Dane crossing to like Malmo or whatever that C is called they can like poke them away with a stick there's some pretty funny Swedish and Danish crazy laws we'll pull back pull back there though this is gonna be a tight one my infantry sitting further back they're actually pushing us I'm just cycle charging my cavalry on theirs but against Firelock Militia, we should be fine. 
But so far the balance of power is still on their favour. We do have artillery supremacy, which is a massive, massive bonus. And the Swedish frontline meatball infantry are coming against the Danes. Give me your pastries. <laughs> right, so we've got the 8th Regiment Garrison for the Danes. Up against the 5th Regiment of the Swedes. But we need this territory if we're ever going to beat Russia. Okay, so I've seen an exposed piece of artillery here. So they actually had two pieces of artillery. We've just been Johnny on the spot with our cavalry. Rotating and getting our hammer and anvil strikes on. We might lose a lot of cavalry casualties in this battle, as it were. But we need to unite all the Nordic countries, because that's the objective of today's video. Along with the challenge of trying to win the Great Northern War for Sweden and taking Moscow. Okay, so we've got it to about 60-40 in our favour. We've advanced the front line now, and we're currently trading with the Danes on the front. But if you haven't already, guys, gone and checked out my Spanish Empire Total War campaign, I do recommend it. And my other edited Total War campaign videos. I've done some Rome 2 and Warhammer as well. So they're now routing, which is good. Artillery is just, artillery's just so, so crucial in Empire. Like, you, sometimes, some people, I've seen people, like, put six in. <laughs> their armies. I personally like four, though. Victory! We're victory here today. Agnar ben Bentesen. Um He was outnumbered by about a thousand, but had more of a balanced, well-equipped army, and maybe slightly better quality. So we have victory here today. We'll accept the result, and we will seize the city of Copenhagen. Copenhagen is now ours. We'll replenish and repair uh, where we can, but there is a smaller army outside that could push up and intercept us. Okay. So, does Russia want peace or Poland, Lithuania? No. Russia says no. Okay, there's a small army there we could intercept moving to St. Petersburg, and we've got a large army there on the fort. Let's actually intercept that. We'll fight this one. We have our first battle against the Ruskies, and we only slightly outnumber them. Okay, guys, welcome, welcome to the battle map. Let's get stuck into our first battle against the Russians. So, after the war has been declared, an army tried to reinforce St. Petersburg because they knew we had a fort there. So we've intercepted this first Russian army, and hopefully we can have a decisive victory here today. We have quality supremacy, not numerical, apparently. I think with Russia, they have, like, manpower galore, even in Empire Total War. But they lack quality. We've got artillery as well, so we'll try and hit theirs. We just need to make sure our general get, doesn't get sliped. So we've got the first regiment afoot. I think probably the sort of lower number variants and sort of the better quality uh, soldiers are probably on the Russian border, but we attack Denmark, they back them. Whoa! Artillery fire raining down on the 3rd Regiment afoot of the Russian Empire. I believe it's Catherine the Great that, that's in there. I think we're actually in a better position alliance-wise if you play an earlier campaign, but I don't know. I kind of like the United States being in here. But uh, here are some of the Cossack units for the Russians. They look very cool and unique. Fierce fighting is now underway in the province of St. Petersburg. Later to be Leningrad, I guess. But they're moving up their military forces and we're very much trading on the front line there. The 8th Regiment of Foot is engaging on the left. And the 1st Regiment of Russia is now pushing up, so this is a bit of a make-or-break battle here. We could... It'd it take them a while to actually take Finland. However, 
this will influence the border skirmish conflict for the next couple of years if we don't win it. It's currently 50-50. But hopefully we can pull a victorious result out of the bag. Okay, we've advanced on the left flank here now. My right's still pinning down. The first Grenadiers are still hitting theirs. So it's Cossack infantry that are actually holding. And we've enveloped them slightly. Still raining artillery fire support down. But the Russians are on the back foot. They've been caught in a, a decent skirmish sort of interception battle. I'll take that. I'll take this victory. Okay, so we only lost 300. They lost 700. Sweet. So we should be able to push upon St. Petersburg with impunity there. Oh, we might actually not. No. We might need more forces. Okay. We're not going to win that. So let's pull back. Oh, I wanted to pull back to the border at least. Hanover's declared war upon me. Prussia, Westphalia. Man, we're getting war decked massively. Okay, so now we're at war with Hanover. That's crazy. We'll be able to take Norway now, and we'll play this one. All right, let's get stuck into the da uh, the Danes in Norway. Because after this, they should be kaput. Sometimes they capitulate and, like, Iceland turns into its own thing, but we might need to have a naval force push up. So I brought up some reinforcements with this army. We have four units of artillery, six units of cavalry, and only three infantry units. So cavalry and artillery supremacy is probably going to have to make it work. We just needed to bring up some reinforcements. We couldn't allow infantry to rotate and move out from, Han um, from Denmark. But I feel like we've been a little bit unlucky. We're at war with Russia, Prussia, Hanover. Yeah, we've... They've allied, they've allied up a bit. That's why I wanted to try and rush the Danes as quickly as possible, because if they had Great Britain on their side, ugh, that's a whole different story. That's like GG Colonial Conquest. They ain't, that ain't happening. But I've set out my objectives and challenges for this series, and we'll, we'll try and uh, complete it. But their artillery is heavily bunkered in. If we can somehow get our cavalry around to flank, that'd be great, but... We do have a slight high ground advantage there to trade fire. Okay, so they're clustering a little bit, but the Swedish heavy cavalry has somehow managed to break around the city lines. And we need to neutralize this artillery. If you sort of snipe artillery in Empire, it's so, so important. Because even if it's not the best of charges, you can quite often decimate it enough. The cavalry charges aren't overly too impactful, but I still quite I don't like I still like the effectiveness of cavalry in um, Empire Total War, especially situationally, just to try and plug out artillery. I thought it was a cow trop there, but it was facing the other way. I guess it like an allied cow trop. They go over the top of it, but ours wouldn't. Anyway, we've got some cavalry there sitting by, and they are forming square because this is a late campaign. Okay, so a lot of cavalry's engaging. We've managed to capture a house. <laughs> okay. A Norwegian holiday for a uh, home. Very nice. Okay. So one regiment of form square. So our cavalry is currently trading with theirs. It's now gone to an 80% favour, but the Swedes and the Danes are uh, at it again. Once more. But with Norway under our control, we should be able to mount a decent winter offensive and do what the old Swedes couldn't do and win the Great Northern War. It's going to be a tough one because Russia is just so, so huge. And if we have to contend with Prussia... You forget how sort of small we are as a nation, but I'll try my best in today's video. So we only lost 200 there. So is that it? Is that Denmark done and dusted? Potentially, we'll just have to see. Um, 
Because you can subjugate Iceland, I think. No, so they're, they're still back in Iceland. They don't want peace. Okay. Alright, so we've got a full stack down here in Copenhagen. We'll deal with the remaining stragglers down here. And then I guess with Hanover, which I didn't want to push down into the German states, but... If they challenge me, we're going to have to show them who's boss, so let's say. Moogle Great Britain are at war. Okay. Still at war with Hanover and the, and the Danes. The thing is, right, if you take Hanover, it sort of brings the UK in because the royal family... Oh, is it this time period? I can't remember. Modern. The modern UK. Uh, royal family's close to Hanover. Okay, still a couple little pesky raiding Danes. Going back to their ancestral Viking ways, typical. When everything has gone against them. They still don't want peace. Really? Looks like we're going to have to go to Iceland. Okay, so now I've got a full stack on the border here with the Russians. And, oh, why can't we go over this? Oh, they've actually blocked it. That's annoying because I wanted to try and take uh, St. Petersburg here today. Uh, the United Provinces has attacked my ally France. Enter war on France's sign, decline in American alliance. Well, the Dutch are close, but I think I would fear the French more. I guess we'll enter war on Allies' side. Oh my god. Russians. There was a threat for us going with Poland, Prussia, and now the United Provinces. Okay, so I've skipped a little bit ahead. We've got two full stacks here ready to push against um, Hanover with Angar. And we'll bring in the secondary army here as well. We'll demand surrender, but we'll just auto-resolve this one. As I can't really leave them, but I don't want to fight against Hanover. That wasn't the point of this series. Okay, so I've sent an army here now to Reykjavik in Iceland. And this should be the last of the Danes. A full stack's going um, to Reykjavik. Halva. Prussia's declared war upon me again. Austria, Russia, Savoy. Now, uh, okay, good, they didn't join in. Crikey, that could have been bad. So, we're at war with Prussia. And... The Netherlands. But we should be able to wrap up this war and officially form the Kelmar Union. There's no button or interaction or anything, but we've gone and take the historical provinces and the Danes have been officially destroyed. Okay, it's time to make a play against the Russians. We couldn't actually move over there. They actually blocked us well. So we'll smash this small scouting force and we should be able to take... St. Petersburg for Sweden and use this sort of as a a launching pad into the greater Russian Empire because they got a lot of territory a lot a lot but Moscow actually isn't too far from St. Petersburg realistically okay so we intercept this small Russian army clear victory two to one they've moved further back there Alright, we'll try and take as much of the important uh, sort of western Russian territory as we can. Prussia's now pushed up to Hanover, so we might have to contend with that. That's annoying. Uh, I didn't want to move into the Germanic sphere of influence, let's say. Oh, we actually would win that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so annoying. I feel like we've been an unlucky war deck. Like, I had a plan for this series. Russians and Danes and Scandinavians. Not Germans. Get out of here with your nonsense. We are carving them up, though, in Hanover. Okay, so I figured out a way to stop this unlucky war with the Prussians. So I'm going to push aggressively, take Cologne in the Rhineland. 
Now this is a bit of a cheese if you want to sort of get peace treaties and stuff done. The most valuable asset you have in diplomacy in most total wars is your provinces. So what we're going to do here... Oh, I'm going to have to reload. Why isn't the button there? Darth Mod, why have you forsaken me? Yeah, the button's glitched there. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, here we go, there we go. We can do it now. Rhineland, peace. Trade agreement. Alliance? <laughs> they accepted. Uh, what? Ah, oh, welcome. Thank you for Cologne. How about an alliance? That's so, so weird. Frederick Wilhelm II. Okay, I'll take that. Well, that war's now done. Alright, so the... The Dutch came in and took it anyway. Right, so we might be able to do the exact same thing to Cologne with the Dutch. So we'll take Cologne. <laughs> Again. <laughs> United Provinces. Would you like peace? <laughs> for, for Rhineland? If this works again, it's it's really, really cheesy, but I like it. I like it a lot. How about you give me 5k? Ooh. No, I'm not going to give you that much territory, but... Mm. How about just that? I can't believe they've accepted that. Anyway, we got rid of those annoying wars. Okay, so, now, with the wars in the west now wrapped up, we can focus against the Ruskies. So we have three full stacks here in uh, St. Petersburg. So we'll try and bring up some more... Re actually, uh, yeah, three full stacks and a fourth on the way. And they've actually raided my farm here, so we'll push up and get rid of them. I think what we'll do is we'll push to Estonia and sort of the other more wealthy Western territories. Like, we probably could snipe Moscow quite quickly, but I want to sort of carve out some territory. So they've moved some units in. But there's going to be a lot of wars so far. So we've numerically, we're doing well. All right, move you up here. Should be eradicate that small military force. From our port. So we're currently operating with about 100k Swedes in Russia now. Okay, it's 1790 and this is what the Russians currently occupy. We're going to push down to Estonia and um, Latvia. And then we guess we push down to Courland, or Courtland. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a big battle here. They're really trying to hold out. So we'll send down our military forces and we'll fight this one here today. But the Great Northern War is in full effect. Wowee. It's a 100,000 man battle. The Russians versus the Swedes. Helva is going to be leading the command. Battle is underway. Three units of Swedish artillery. Four units of cavalry. Most of our front line made up with three to four chevrons. Now, the Russians here in Estonia are actually hanging out in a fort, which can be particularly annoying and quite grindy. So what I'll do, on the right-hand side, I'll get my cavalry to try and uh, run down any reinforcements coming in. They do have their own cannons on the walls as well, which we have to watch out for. And we'll try and make a breach, but we're going to have to try and allow our guys to push up all over the walls. So we should be able to intercept this Russian reinforcements coming in. The more we can get rid of and avoid them from getting into the fort, the better. So we've just got melee horse guard. The four units of Russian and Swedish cavalry clash outside the fort. Hopefully to decide the fight. But we're not overly favoured to win this one. It's going to be a close and a grindy and a long one. But so far, we seem to be neutralizing their cavalry and artillery quite well. Okay, we've made it to the walls, and the rest are slowly but surely moving up. But we've managed to snipe an enemy general, which is massive. 
And they've actually intercepted us on the outside. But our guys are slowly but surely making their way up the walls. And uh, are fighting on the outside while our artillery tries to rain fire and death upon the fort. Okay, victory. It was a close one. We lost 3.4k. And they lost the entire 6k. So, yeah, we've killed over 100,000 Russians so far. What a massive battle. I actually can't stand four battles. They're so long and grindy. But we've managed to take the dub. Okay, so I guess we deal with this army outside Courland. Yeah, Courland. Courland. Yeah. That was occupied by someone else, wasn't it? I guess the Russians took it. But no matter. We're bringing it under our fold. And then we got Lithuania further south. It was Latvia, actually. That we took. Okay, well, I guess we push for Vilnius in Lithuania. But so far, we've won every single battle against the Russians. And the Great Northern War is swinging into our sweet favor. Prussia's at war with me again. This is so annoying. It's kind of a meme. And now they're pushing to Hanover. Okay. Well, we intercept that. <laughs> Send them back. If I have to do this cheese again... Okay, so... We'll push into Lithuania. Okay, so we've got a full stack near St. Petersburg. Right, so I want to try and gobble up the, the Ukrainian, the Lithuanian, the, the Baltic territories, because they're way more valuable than the ones over the, the far, far east. Okay, so we're at war with Prussia again. Well, we've got an army here. I reckon we can maybe take Brandenburg, or maybe just destroy enough units to put the pressure on them. Let's look at the order resolve. What is it? Oh, yeah, let's take Brandenburg. Ugh, oh, the Swedes taking Berlin. I kind of don't believe it. So annoying. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, here, it's like that meme. Oh, here I go. I guess I go killing again against the Germans. 5k, we'll try and, like, I've got to make you pay, Wilhelm. Rejected, okay. How about that then. Now, we've had diplomacy with them before, so maybe we won't. it's not going to happen again. We might need to take, like, more territories, which is ridiculous. But, good on Gustav III. He's been doing quite well in this series. Ensuring Swedish Imperial conquest, let's say. Yeah, I can't really give them anything else because I want that Eastern Territory. Like, maybe two might do it. Mm. The problem is, as well, if we don't get an alliance, it, do it doesn't delay them for a bit because they could theoretically just attack us again. But I guess we'll just, we'll just try and offer this, see if it works. I guess we could threaten, but... Mm. Courland? No, they don't even want that. No, they are so not interested. Like, the diplomacy was... Yeah, it's not working. Damn it. Alright, round two. We're still at war with the... The Prussians. Now that's been a turn, how about I try again? No, they're still not interested. Do we really have to take Saxony? Oh my god, we're gonna have to take Dresden, aren't we? <laughs> oh, I don't want Germany. I just want them not to attack me. I want to focus on the the Russians. Oh, they've actually got a lot of territory there, though. They've gotten rid of, like, Württemberg and whatnot. So now that we've got two of your territories, can you s give me peace, you crazy Germans? 
Ah, oh, yes, Gordon Tag, mine find. Oh my god. We just have to sort of beat them into submission. Oh, well, we've got a military alliance with the Prussians again, I guess. Was it worth it? Really? So, allies wise, France have become a republic, which is cool. But we've got a lot of military allies backing us now. <laughs> Compared to earlier on in today's video. And they broke it. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, trying to push into Minsk. Clear victory. Western Russia seems to be falling. Then we've got Kiev. And maybe like Moldova or something to the south. Alright, sweet. Just managing these orthodox provinces is going to be a little bit tricky. I think that they're even Catholic there as well. That's why the rebellions popped up. Because we are Protestant. At the end of the day. Yeah, so we've got a, an alliance with the United States still. France, Poland, and Maratha. So, we'll make peace for now. Um, just for 10 turns, because my army is absolutely shot. We need to replenish and repair. It's 1791. We've made a short peace with Russia. Just because I need to get more units back up, and we need to control this territory that we've got. Okay, guys. So, it's 1794. I've skipped a little bit ahead. And it's time to go back at war with the Russians here. So, you can't, like, join an Ottoman war, which they sort of fixed that in Empire, but they just made it not work. So, they're, they're allied with the Russians, sorry, the Prussians and the Austrians. So, we've only got an alliance now with the United States and France, and let's see what happens. Russia, Prussia, trade agreement. Okay, so now we're at war with Austria. Brilliant. Well, hopefully we can give them some Russian territory just to shut them up and stop them attacking me, because they do border me there near Transylvania. Yeah, we maybe can give them Moldova, because I'm not too fussed about that. Well, we could have hit Prague if it was undefended, but there's a full stack there. Right, so we've got a full Swedish army pushing to Kiev. Clear-cut victory. Boom. Booyakasha. <laughs> right, Ukraine's now ours, and... Can we actually... No, we can't hit Moldova just yet, but we'll push down towards it. I'm happy to give this to the Austrians, because then we have a bit of a border with them. Alright, so we've got two full stacks ready to push into Moscow. And we've got another two on the border. So we have five Swedish armies in operation. Just under 150k Swedes. We'll send you north to Petro, and we'll send three stacks to Moscow. And then we'll have the battle... Uh, for the winter city. Okay, Austrians have attacked me here in Moldova, so I have to pull back. That's annoying. That they're pushing into the Russian domain. So an army came out and intercepted the army heading to Moscow, so they've had to flee back. That might have left that undefended though, Moscow. Right, so we'll take Moldova. Hopefully, yes. Mikhail is Mikon. Right. Austrians, can you please leave me alone? We've been at war with so many people. It's kind of crazy, but that's what you get for playing on Darth Mod in this added difficulty. And they've signed the treaty. No, we've got Moldova now. Good on you, Joseph, you cheeky bugger. Joey. You Austrian... Annoyance. <laughs> right. So, for some reason... Except for that army, they've left Moscow pretty much uh, not contested. They've pulled back to the south. So we've got two armies. We'll try and push for Moscow and take it. It's going to take a turn. And we'll send the other two to deal with the army that's drawn out. Yeah, they're just sort of hanging down further in the south. Alright, so be it. Um, we'll push down and hit this one here, though. That got drawn out with two full stacks. Alright, let's fight this battle here today against Alexander. Okay, guys. Welcome to the battle map. 
Let's get stuck into the Russians. So we've managed to intercept them on the road. Whoa, what was that? No way. <laughs> because they clustered up so much, we were able to snipe the enemy general. That's crazy unlucky. So they're pushing up some cavalry. The 10th Grenadier Regiment of the Swedes is now dealing with them. So we'll fight this battle and then we'll play the battle for Moscow. But we've had a massive, a really enjoyable war against the Russians. I've had a lot of fun. This has definitely lived up to my expectations of the Great Northern War. And once the Western provinces have been taken in Russia, because that's what they really care about, those sort of core wealthy territories. The Eastern ones, meh, I'm not even too fussed about. We could even pop at the Russians if we wanted to. Because it just takes so long to get over there and hold. And it's not even that valuable anyway. Even in Rome too, some of those territories, particularly in the Far East, aren't as valuable. But we want to take the crown, the cream of the crop. Uh, Moscow. That's the challenge for this series, but I'm surprised how many times I got war decked in this. It's, it's kind of unlucky. <laughs> kind of annoying. This has been definitely a lot harder than the Spanish series. Victory! We lost 4k against their 5.3. A crazy victory. Alright, let's push and take the city of uh, Moscow here now. Okay, so they've only got one army in operation there. So they've got a small force here. Let's officially put the final nail in the Russian coffin. Move you further up. You might be able to bring some more in. Yeah, we can. We've got movement. So let's move you here. And there. Alrighty. The Siege of Moscow. Let's do it. 100k Swedes. 70k Russians will demand the surrender. They ain't going to accept that. But welcome to the Battle of Moscow. Typical winter's day. And this will be the last battle against them. Three to four chevrons mostly on my units. Battle-hardened and experienced from the Nordic slash Scandinavian wars. We formed the Kelmar Union. We've gotten rid of the Danes. And now we need to win this great northern war and conquer and occupy the great city of Moscow. Six regiment of horse push pushing on the left-hand side and the first. Now, hitting them flat-footed and cycle-charging them would be too much of a bad play. But the Swedish cavalry has intercepted the Russian infantry here. And we'll try and cycle-charge as best as we can. 50 in the initial charge. I'll take that. And we'll let our artillery try and smash the city. I really like open field battles. In Empire, oh, we've got reinforcements coming in here which we need to intercept. But the buildings can be so annoying sometimes. 7th Regiment. Cossacks versing the Regiment Horse. My god. A bloody affair. There's probably only mostly Horse Lords and the other factions there. If sort of the Western Slavic... Russia falls. The East won't be able to defend itself too much anyway. Victory in the battle for the city of Moscow. Wow, we we've gone and done it. Seventeen uh, seventeen ninety four it is. Now Moscow is uh, under our control. Cool beans. Cool, cool, cool beans. And we'll try and replenish and repair where we can. It's a, we've actually had to take a lot of turns just convalescing. Because 
Um, orthodoxy can be a little bit of a pain to convert. So, we'll try and make peace with the Russians. For now. Um, let's see if they accept and they did, because we're going to have to replenish and repair and hold on to these uh, territories. But, um... Yeah, no, nothing else we can do. Alright, so I'm going to wrap up today's video here. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use creator code Simpsy Total War on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mwah.